Welcome to Linux Help. Today we are going to see how to configure Samba server with Debian version 11. The Samba packages allows communication through the SMB protocol. It can be challenging to work in a hybrid environment. Even routine tasks like files, resource sharing or printer sharing can present challenges. Packing up the inter OS environment and working with MS Active Directory is not possible without Samba. First, I will check the OS version. I am used for the Debian version 11.3. Next, I will check the IP address. Next, I update the server using apt updates command. Next, I will install for record package for Samba server. Next, enable Samba service under reboot using systemctl command. Now, restart the Samba service using systemctl command. Now check the running state of the service. Samba server has been active state. Next I will create for the one Samba share folder. Next, I will open the configuration file, Samba configuration file. Now, we edit the configuration file to be add the command path to be which permission to be added, read only, browsable or write, writable. So can be added. Now I am add the command samba share path samba share read only permission on browsable yes writable yes. Now save and exit. Next I will add the user using user add command. Next, create the password from the SMB Samba user. Enter the new password. User can be added. Now make a Samba user owner from the Samba share using ch1 command. Now restart the Samba service using systemctl command. Open an MS Windows client. Browse the IP address. Now we are able to see the shared resources. Next I will move to the command prompt. Then I will create the one file using Samba share. Then move to the Samba share using change directory command ls create further one file then go to the 
then go to the samba folder and open the file one user file can be created next mount the share folder on ms windows client permanently click on the computer then select the map network drive option Now provide a Samba share path, assign to the ID and finish. Samba share will be available for us drive now. We don't require to mount that folder every time. Now we have successfully tested and running the Samba server. Thank you for watching this video and if you like it, please subscribe to our channel. To learn more tutorials, visit www.linuxhelp.com. And if you have any queries, mail us to support at linuxhelp.com.